what are the advantages of using locally linear embedding or LLE over PCA or principal component analysis? So LLE, which is an unsupervised algorithm and PCA are both dimensionality reduction techniques, but they have different underlying assumptions and methods. But first, let's quickly understand what is manifold learning because that's like the most important concept underlying the LLE algorithm. So the manifold learning approach can be considered as the generalization or the update of the PCA so that it can be used for the reduction of the dimension of the data which consists of a non-linear structure. The typical manifold learning approach comes under the unsupervised learning where the algorithms try to learn the data structure without using any predetermined classifications. There can be many approaches under the family of manifold learning like isomap, locally linear embedding, local tangent space alignment and others. And here we are going to discuss the advantages of one of them that is locally linear embedding over PCA. So the first point is about nonlinear dimensionality reduction. So LLE is a non-linear dimensionality reduction technique while PCA is linear. This means that LLE can effectively capture the manifold structure of the data that lies in a non-linear surface whereas PCA is limited to identifying the directions of maximum variance in the data. In cases where the data resides on a non-linear manifold, LLE can provide a more accurate representation of the data's intrinsic structure. An example of this is consider a data set containing points from a Swiss roll, which is a spiral shaped manifold data set. So LLE can unroll the Swiss roll and reveal the underlying two dimensional structure while PCA would fail to capture the spiral shape and instead focus on the direction of maximum variance. And the next point of advantages of LLE is about preserving local relationship. So LLE is designed to preserve the local relationships between data points whereas PCA focuses on preserving the global structure of the data. As a result, LLE can, can better maintain the similarity between nearby points in the original high dimensional space where projecting them into a lower dimensional space. This property is particularly useful when dealing with data that exhibits local patterns or structure. An example, in image recognition task, LLE can be used to reduce the dimensionality of images while preserving the local pixel relationships which might be crucial for distinguishing between different objects or classes. Then another point of advantages is a robustness to noises. So LLE is more robust to noise compared to PCA as it considers a local linear relationships between data points. PCA on the other hand may be more sensitive to noise as it seeks to maximize the variance. Consequently, noisy data can significantly impact the principal components derived from PCA. In other words, PCA may be heavily influenced by the noise and fail to capture the true structure of the data in that case. And the next point of advantages of LLE is about applicability to spectral clustering. LLE can be employed as a pre-processing step for spectral clustering algorithms, which are based on the eigenvectors of the Laplacian matrix. LLE's ability to preserve local relationships in the data can improve the performance of spectral clustering by creating a better low-dimensional representation of the data. Example, in a document clustering task with documents that belong to different topics, LLE can help capture the local word co-occurrences patterns which can lead to better clustering performance when combined with spectral clustering techniques. So overall in summary, LLE offers several advantages over PCA, particularly when dealing with nonlinear data, preserving local relationships and providing robustness to noise. However, it's essential to consider the specific problem and data characteristics when choosing between LLE and PCA or other dimensionality reduction techniques, just as uh, you will do for any projects in data science. And here is a quick implementation of locally linear embedding with uh, sklearn.manifold module. 
So initially just import all the uh, necessary modules and here uh, to create my input data set I'm just making use of make Swiss roll uh, data set from sklearn.datasets and uh, I'm creating a 1000 samples data set and then apply make Swiss roll pass number of samples and noise and that will create your input data set right here and then um, I am going to apply LLE before that I'm defining these number of neighbors and number of components to be two so basically I want to apply the LLE to reduce the data sets that is original data sets dimensionality from three to two and you create your an instance of the locally linear embedding class and then apply fit transform on that created instance and pass your input data set X all right and that will create your reduced dimensionality data set x l l e that's as easy, easy as it is uh, to create your to apply uh, l l e and then in this the rest of the code i'm just uh, pretty much uh, plotting the original data set and the l l e reduced data set side by side to visualize the result